Today's the anniversary of John Lee's birth. He would have been 115 years old today. It's good to remember our Johns, good to remember our debt of gratitude to them. All that they accomplished, all that they passed on. And the Buddha talks about people born in darkness, born in light, who go in darkness or go in light. And John Lee's case was born in darkness, a very poor family. He was orphaned from his mother at a very early age. Didn't get much of an education. But by that time he passed away, he had set out many teachings, explained a lot of teachings of the Buddha that were obscure at that time. Brought the forest tradition into central Thailand. He had accomplished a lot. So the lesson is where you come from is not important. It's what you do with what you've got. As he once said, when, if you have discernment, all you need is a machete and you can set yourself up in life. And if it's his discernment, then it'll be to see there was something of value in the forest tradition. He was inspired by a John Mun and did his best to follow a John Mun. And then as he set out to teach himself, he ended up writing all those books on explaining mindfulness, explaining breath, meditation, explaining what it means to take refuge. And they all come together. In fact, the very last thing that he wrote or dictated brought those themes together. You take refuge in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha by building their qualities inside you. And how do you do that? You do it by establishing mindfulness, particularly mindfulness of the breath. This becomes your refuge inside, not so much the breath itself, but the qualities of mind you bring to the breath and develop as you stay with the breath. Ardency, alertness, mindfulness, your powers of directed thought and evaluation, these all get exercised. And in exercising them, you make them reliable. And that's when you've got a refuge that you can really depend on. Because you look at the world around you. You look at our institutions. We thought our institutions were durable. Look at them now. People are doing their best to tear them apart. You look outside and everything is impermanent. Everything is going to fall away. And if you don't just develop something that you can depend on inside, you're going to be lost. So it's good that we have the teachings of those who have gone before us who, even though they were born in darkness, were able to find a refuge inside, took what qualities they had and developed them. So that this was the path to genuine security, genuine safety, the path to a happiness you can really depend on. So we reflect back on their lives and see the good that they did for themselves and the good they did for others. So at the very least, make sure you do the same sort of good for yourself. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. <laughs>